Hi, in this video clip, let's see how to perform subtraction using R's complement. We are given two numbers M and N. Both are N digit unsigned numbers in some number system with base R and we are trying to perform M minus N. Since N is a positive number, minus N is a negative number. So, we will represent the negative number using R's complement. So, the many N we have as such and the minus N we are representing using the R's complement. So, we have M plus minus N. So, minus N M plus minus N in R's complement given as R power N minus capital N. When we rearrange these terms, we get M minus N plus R power N. Now, we will consider two cases. When M is greater than or equal to N, there will be a N carry due to this R power N because we are adding this R power N to this subtraction M minus N. And when M is greater than or equal to N, there will be a N carry that is at the n plus 1th position will get a carry due to this term r power n. So, if we simply discard that one, what we are left with is, is uh, m minus n. And we know that this r power n in any number system is 1 followed by n zeros. So, if we simply discard that one, we get m minus n, the required result. The other case is that if m is less than n, when we perform m minus n, the result will be in negative. So, what we usually do is, when n is a bigger number and when we are trying to subtract a smaller, when we are trying to subtract a bigger number from smaller number, we do the other way, right? We subtract the smaller number from bigger number and attach a negative sign. That's what we are trying to do here. So, r power n, the same term and we are subtracting n minus m because n is a greater number and we are attaching a negative sign here. Or you can think it like this, okay. I simply take the minus sign out and we have minus m plus n. That is what we have here, plus n minus m. So, now what is this form? This is actually the R's complement of n minus m which is the required result because the result is a negative number and negative numbers we will represent using R's complement. So, the result is in the R's complement. To interpret the result in a way that we can understand, we just take the R's complement of the result and attach a negative sign in the front. We will take the example. We subtract 3250 from 72532. Now note that this is 5 digit number and this is 4 digit number and both are in decimal number system. So we are using tens complement to subtract it. First of all we should make sure that both the numbers are n digits. So we will add a preceding 0 here and minus n we will represent in tens complement. So, this m minu n we write it as such and this minus n we will write it in tens complement. So, we have a preceding 0 here. We subtract the high, uh, higher uh, digits from 9 and the lower bits we will uh, lower bit that is the least significant bit we will subtract from 10 if it is a non-zero. If it is a 0 then we will write that 0 as such and then subtract the previous digit from 10. So, we have a 0 here. 9 minus 0 is 9. 9 minus 3 is 6. 9 minus uh, 2 is 7. Then 10 minus 5 is 5. The 0 will come as such. Then we are performing addition of these two things and what we get is this one and see here we have a n carry. That is here we have only 5 digits each for n and m. But when you, when you perform addition, you get a extra carry in the sixth digit. This we can simply discard to get the answer because this one is due to 10 power 5. 
so we can simply discard it and we know that when we subtract a smaller number from a bigger number we get a positive answer we'll consider the other way we try to subtract a bigger number from a smaller number so this number we will write it as such this number we will represent using tens complement subtract the first four digits from 9 and the last digit from 10 and write it to get the tens complement and add these two things and see here we do not get a end carry here because the result is in the tens complement because the result will be in negative so the negative numbers will be represented in the complement notation so this is actually in the complement notation to interpret this one we will take the tens complement of 30718 which is 69282 subtract first four digits from 9 and this 8 from 10 so 8, 10 minus 8 is 2 9 minus 1 is 8 9 minus 7 is 2 9 minus 0 is 9 9 minus 3 is 6 and add a negative sign because this is for our interpretation now let's take an example from the binary number system. Uh, we have x and y. x is actually 84 in binary. y is 67 in binary. And we are trying to perform x minus y using 2's complement. So x we will write it as such and y we will write it in 2's complement. So this one we will write it as such and rest of the uh, bits we will flip them and get the 2's complement. We add them both and see that there is a end carry. And this we can simply discard because when you subtract 67 from 84, the result is positive. And when you discard this, this 1 is due to 2 to the power 7 in the 2's complement. So when you discard this one, Okay, what we get is this one and see here you can see that this is a positive number because the sign bit is 0 and this is positive 70 which is the result of 84 minus 67. If we do it the other way that is y minus x, y we will write it as such, we will find the 2's complement of x. So, 1, 0, 0. This 1, 0, 0, we will write it as such. Rest of the bits, we will just flip them. And we will add and see here, there is no end carry here. Uh, because the answer is negative and it is in 2's complement notation. So, take 2's complement of the sum to interpret the result. So, we get magnitude 17, add a negative sign before this one. So, this is how we perform the subtraction using R's complement. In the next video clip, we will discuss how to perform subtraction using uh, R minus 1's complement. Thank you for watching.